My name is Yehoshua. I'm with Israel United in Christ. And we are here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you're God's chosen people. That's right. We are here to teach you that Reverend Jeffrey W. Jones, MDIV, is a false prophet. And that all he's teaching you is lies, thus saith the Lord. That's right. Give me not Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. So the Most High God has sent the prophets to come back and rebuke the fake Christian pastors that's leading our people astray. So I got a question according to the scriptures. Read that. The book of Psalms chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So the Lord has a question. He wants to know who's going to rise up for him against the evildoers. But if you don't know what evil is, how are you going to rise up for the Lord? If you don't know what sin is, how are you going to correct it? How are you going to call it out? Read it again. What? Who will rise up for me uh -huh. against the evildoers? Who's going to rise up against these these uh these so-called white people coming in shooting up the the uh the grocery stores? Right. Who's going to rise up against the drug dealers in the community? Right. Who's going to rise up against the fake Christian pastors that's telling you that you don't have to keep God's laws? Right. Read that again. Who will rise up for me? against the evildoers Read. or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity that answer is the prophets of God are going to stand up against the workers of iniquity that's right. the people that's working sin the people that are teaching sin the people that are teaching that you don't have to keep God's commandments right. we're going to stand up against them that's right. Right. we're going to confront you face to face right. we're going to bring it to your front door because right. Right. you don't even know what sin is you know but it's our job to show you, thus saith the Lord. Let's show them sin. Give me, give me 1 John 3 and 4. Show them what sin is. Because if we're going to rise up against the workers of iniquity, you need to know what your iniquity is. That's right. And that's what our job is today. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. Transgressive also the law. The law, the law. So these Christian pastors that are telling you that you don't have to keep God's laws, they're telling you that you can transgress against the Most High God. Read. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of God's laws. So where did this concept come from that we do not have to keep God's laws? Christ out of his own mouth said that we have to keep the laws. Right. Christ out of his own mouth said that not the least of the laws will be done away with. Right. But give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Let me show you what our job is as the prophets of God. We're out here to, to preach against the so-called pastors. And I say so-called because you're not one of God's pastors because you're not feeding the flock of God. Right. Bring that out. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Read. Cry aloud. The Bible says that the prophets of the Most High God will cry aloud. We will cry aloud. Read. Spare not. And we will not spare your feelings. We will not spare your emotions. Right. We will not spare your opinions. We don't care about any of that. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And how does a trumpet sound? It's loud. Right. It's extremely loud. Right. Just like our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who had a voice like the multitude of many waters. Right. Sins. Let's show them who God's people is. Give me Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. Bring it out. Give me Matthew chapter 2, verse 6, so that there's no question who God's people are. Because right. the Christian pastors want to tell you anybody could be God's people. They'll tell you everybody is God's people. That we all children of God. That's right. The Bible says that the Israelites are God's chosen people. Right. That's right. God's children. Read. Right. Right. The book of Matthew, chapter 2 and verse 6. Read. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, Read. art not the least among the princes of Judah. So they are not least amongst the princes of Judah. Keep reading. For out of thee uh -huh. shall come a governor Read. that shall rule my people. That shall rule my people. Who are God's people? Israel. Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel are God's chosen people. Sister, take a fly. Take a fly. Anybody coming out of this World Victory Church and life, she wants to fly? You want to fly, sister? Learn about your history, my sister. There are things that you'll learn from the prophets of God that you will never learn in Christian church. 
And the so-called the so-called life center has no life in it at all. That's right. The Bible says, keep my commandments and live. Give me Proverbs 7 and 2. Keep my commandments and live, and the law as the apple of thine eye. That's right. So if the, if the Christian pastor is not teaching you God's commandments, there's no way that it's a life center. There's no way that it's a life center. Right. That's a cemetery over there. That's right. That's a center full of death. Right. A cemetery is what that is. Read the book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. Read. Keep my commandments and live. The Bible says what? Keep my commandments and live. The Bible says to keep my commandments. The Most High God says keep my commandments and live. So how can you advertise a life center huh? that does not teach God's commandments? Teach! Pastor Jeffrey W. Jones, M-D-I-V, we need you out here front and center. That's right. We need you out here front and center to contend for your faith. Right. Your false doctrine. Right. Come prove it, thus saith the Lord. Right. Come prove to your congregation why you, uh, you assemble on Sunday, the first day of the week, according to the scriptures. Right. Come prove why you have a shaved face. Come prove why you're a barber, and in your barber shop, you'll shave somebody's head off unclean. You'll shave their beard off unclean. Prove these things, thus saith the Lord. Because the Bible says, keep my commandments and live. So all you do every Sunday morning is teach death. All you do is give our people death. All you do is give our people hell. All you do is give our people captivity. That's right. Every time you cut somebody at the barbershop, you put that little that little part in the head, you're right. giving them death. That's right. The brother say, yeah, go ahead, take the beard off. The, the wife like it nice and smooth. Mm. You're giving them death. Right. You're giving them hell. You're giving them hell. Right. We are here to give you life, my brother. That's right. We are here to get a congregation life, my brother. Right. We are here to call our people to repent. Right. What you holding? Leviticus 21, bring that up. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. So when the Bible says, keep my commandments and live, if you really want to be a life sinner, Pastor Reverend Jeffrey, Jeffrey W. Jones, M.D.I.V., this is what you got to teach. Read. They shall not make boldness upon their head. You know who he's talking about, Pastor Jeff? Pastor Jones, he's talking about you. That's right. He's talking about your congregation. Right. They shall not what? They shall not make boldness upon their head. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.